Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me doing a full face of makeup that really makes me feel pretty and it's just like my go-to if I just want to be glam and keep it like neutral but still look like I can go out into the world and feel like I can do anything. So if you guys are interested in watching how I achieve this makeup look, just keep on watching. Okay, so ignore that I literally look a mess. I just woke up but first I'm going to be priming with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. <laughs> Jaclyn Hill palette. You saw me use this in my first video, but this is seriously like one of my go-to palettes. And I'm going to be sticking in this area again, but I'm going to be like creating a different look with it. So I'm going to take this first. I'm going to be taking that shade on my Morphe 441 brush, and I'm going to be just fluffing that into my crease. <laughs> go into my other Jaclyn Hill palette. This is from her vault collection. This is Ring the Alarm. Shade down here called Mugshot on my Morphe 433 brush. I'm just gonna blend that onto my outer corner. Deepen that up a little more with the shade Secret. In the same brush. Now, to cut my crease, I'm going to take my concealer brush by e.l.f. and my Jeffree Star concealer. Now, I like to start my cut creases not like right in the inner corner. I like to start out here, kind of towards where I want it to end. I'll kind of pack the concealer on, but not make it super wet, and then look up, and that's where you should cut your crease. I spread that all out until it's even, and then I'll pat over it with my finger, just to make sure there's no creases in it, and I'll blend the edges out, and then I'm going to take my Morphe 421 brush, it's just like a... Also, I can see my Ultra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Looks like that. It's a really pretty gold. I'm gonna be packing that onto my Morphe brush. And now I'm gonna take the Morphe 4 through 3 brush and just blend out the edges of that. Alright, so now after I cut my crease, I like to kind of go around like the edge of where it's cut with the first shade that I used right here. Just go in there and I'll kind of like line it just to make it look more crisp. This eye always turns out best when I'm doing cut crease. I don't know why. It just turns out like prettier and it falls in like the perfect spot. Don't know. All right, so for primer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I got this little one in my Ipsy bag like last month, I think. And I really like it because it's like a, almost like a serum feeling. I just put four drops. You really don't need a lot, but I like using this amount. And then I'll just like pat it in. I feel like that's what makes it work best. Since it is kind of like a long wearing, it doesn't say that this is hydrating, but I think the double duty beauty part means that it'll make your makeup last longer. And I feel like it honestly does. It definitely makes my skin hydrated and it gives a nice tacky finish. I'm going to be going in with my Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. I like to mix shades LC1 and MC1. LC1 matches me pretty well, like I had mentioned before, but I just like to make myself look a little more tan. And I feel like mixing them gives it a better finish. I don't know, maybe it's just because it makes me look a little more tan, so that automatically makes me look better, but... And to blend that out, I'm going to take my beauty blender. So I did pick up the Jeffree Star Concealer when I first came out. 
but I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I got a pretty light shade, but I feel like I should still be able to make it work, but I just feel like it's not as full coverage as it was like made out to be. So I'm gonna put a little bit there. And I feel like it makes my skin look dry. I don't know, it might just be because it's too light, but. I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. You definitely need like the littlest amount. But I wanna use it on my blemishes because they're pretty red. And they've been really popping out lately, so. I wanna cover them up. This is a Revlon Candid Photo Ready Antioxidant Concealer. Mine's in the shade 015 Light. That it looks a little like really yellow on camera, but it blends out really nice. And this was the second to lightest shade. And I always buy too light of a shade, so I didn't get up. I didn't want to get the lightest shade because I thought it'd be too light. And it might be since this blends out like really nice. <laughs> to set I like to use my milk makeup blur and set powder and I take this on like this random mermaid brush it's just really soft and has like a pointed angle take a little bit and I start under my eyes and then I set my chin especially if I have blemishes which Sorry, my nose piercing just keeps popping out to say hi. Um, especially if I have blemishes, which is like all the time on my chin for some reason. I really like to set that. And to get like more powder out because it has like a sifter type thing, I have to like really shake it up to get a good amount out. Seeing that still just gets like a little amount, which is kind of good. You don't want to shake out too much. really set that I set my smile lines or where my smile lines would be if I was smiling and then I'll take a little bit I'll kind of like swirl it in there and I'll just lightly set across my temples and above my eyebrows I don't set too much just because I don't really like the look of powder, but I still want my face to stay pretty in place. All right, enough for bronzer. I'm gonna be taking my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Take on this fluffy mermaid brush. I just swirl it in there. I get a good amount on there. Then I just start bronzing up my face. <laughs> take my Maybelline Fit Me 05 powder and I'm going to take that on my Morphe sponge. Alright, now I have that on. I'm going to go in with blush. This is like my everyday blush by Milani. Take it on a Farrah 50F blush brush. I'm just pounce it on. my blush duo this is more of a topper because it has like shimmer in it so I don't use it as like blush so I just take my firma 103 fluffy contour brush champagne side and go along my cheekbones just to have a little more glow and less of the pink and then I'll take whatever is left on the brush and just put it on my nose Take some across my forehead. I put it like all over my forehead. I love to like look glowy from everywhere. And people always ask, do you put highlighter on your forehead? And I'm like, yeah. I don't know, it just makes my forehead look good, I don't know. Now that I got that, 
that brushed off, I'm going to go in and highlight. This is my favorite highlighter. It's by Luna. Luna by Luna. And I'm going to take my Morphe 510 brush. Alright, and now I'm going to take my Mari Badescu Rose Water. And just spray that all over. And then I take my Morphe sponge again and take one of the flat sides. And go over my face. This just helps the powders melt into your skin more. <laughs> I'm going to go back into my Jaclyn Hill palette and take this shade right here. And I'm going to take it on that same pencil brush I used before from BH Cosmetics. And just blend it on my little lash line a little. Alright, and now I'm going to go in with this shade right here to do my inner corner highlight. Boom. I was going to use the Rodeo drive highlight from Ofra that I used in my lids but I decided I wanted this instead. I know it's more like silvery than the gold but I don't care. I'm gonna take that on my brow bone. For mascara I'm gonna be using my Lash Paradise primer and mascara. First I'm going to curl my eyelashes. <laughs> I used to be like deathly afraid of these just because I've seen all those pictures of when girls like lose their eyelashes and stuff, but recently I've gotten into using it. Going to take my primer first. I'm going to take my favorite lip gloss by CoverGirl. It is the Colorlicious Berrylicious 710. You can see why this is like my go-to look. It just looks like so glowy and it's so pretty and just like simple. It's very neutral, but I really like it. So I'm gonna go do my hair and change my shirt. All right, so for bronzing on my chest, take my same bronzer and the same brush to get a good amount on there. And I literally just fluff it everywhere. Get it all over my neck. I'm also gonna bring it down my chest a little too because I am wearing an off the shoulder top today now this obviously this is just a v-neck but yeah. I'm also going to highlight my um, collarbone a little since I am wearing an off the shoulder top I'm going to take my same Luna highlighter on my Morphe brush and just glow those up Boom. Please don't forget to like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. This is why we can't have none.